Hello everybody, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. My name is Mitch Tabian and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make, um, make, a, make a graph in your Android application and plot in multiple data series. So we're going to be using the, the library um, Android, it's up here, M MP Android Chart. So if you want to find the library and install it, just head on down there. Um, I guess I can show you really quick how to do it. So yeah, you just, just Google it and uh, I think it's like the first link that will take you to this GitHub page. And you scroll down and grab these right here, the repository and the dependency. And I'll start a new project. Uh, what are we going to call it? Um, line graph, I guess. It's going to be a line graph. Go empty activity and build that. Yeah, this is a really great library. It's so far my favorite library for plotting with Android. Really easy to use and lots of cool features. So right here, we're, we're going to do a sine and a cosine curve for this tutorial. So we throw the dependency in here, in the repository, and then sync. <coughs> I showed how to do this in my other other tutorials using this library, but I'll just uh, just do it real quick anyway. So the first thing we want to do is go into our layout file and create a line chart. <coughs> do match parent for the width, and we'll just do like 400 dp for the length, and we'll give this thing an ID uh, line call it line chart. <coughs> Okay, so I think we're done in there. Then we'll head on over to main activity and we'll start writing our code. So line chart, line chart. I always make the charts global, I don't know why, it's just a habit of mine. You don't you don't actually need to, but just a habit. Okay. And so what we have to do is create an array list of x-axis values, an array list of, and two different array lists of y-axis values. One's going to be for sine and one's going to be for cos. Uh, so the x-axis values are going to be strings. When you're using um, this library for the Y values, you, you use entry types. Uh, so this one, make sure you import the right library. If you, if you saw that, I chose the one, um, this guy, I guess, or these, this guy right here. And go Y axis sign and I axes coast. Okay. We need a double for our variables. And we need, I'm gonna make an integer called number data pool num data points, which will be the amount of data points that we're gonna have. So we'll do we'll just do a thousand. You don't have to do a thousand, you can do more. And then we'll do, um, you have to use floats for this library, so all the y values have to be floats. So we're going to, oops, oops, sorry, uh, value, uh, this is going to be our sign function. We have to do, I, I have to write it this way. It's not capital. I have to write it this way because this math dot sign function, it takes a double. Let's see if you can see in here. This this has to be a double. But our to put points into our y values array, you have to use a float. So we take this double, change it to a string, and then change it to a float. And then we're gonna do the same thing 
for the coast function. Except change this to coast. <coughs> and then just do x equals x plus 0 0.1. So our data points are going to be in steps of every 0 0.1. I find this gives a nice continuous curve. And then so we'll just add um, add the values now. I'll do sign one first. Add new entry, uh, sign function, and then the indices. I'll do the same one for posts. And just change this to ghosts. <coughs> we have to populate our x axis. And that should be it for that loop. Or that, yeah, that, yeah, that for loop. Um, then we have to change the x axis to the x-axis array to an array of strings. Uh, I'll show you why in a second here. Oops, x-axis, size. Oh, I didn't declare it. So we'll just call this x-axis equals x-axis dot Oops. What am I doing? There we go. There we go. So we create a new a new string array and it's gonna have the size. It's gonna be just as big as all the data points in the x axis array. So then x axis i equals x axis dot get i dot two string. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll, I'll explain why I'm doing this, and when I'm not just using the x-axis array in a second here. Oops. This, this one's going to be, so we, this is a special data type for using, because for use, for plotting multiple data sets. Because usually you would just do, um, I think it's just line, line data set. But because that that will only work for one set of data. If you but so if you want multiple sets of data on the same plot, you have to use I line data set. So we'll just call this yeah line. We'll call it line data sets because it's going to be more than one. Equals new array list. And we do line data set. Data set one because it's going to be the first data set. We'll put in uh, sure the coast one, why not? And we'll call it, yeah, just call it coast. And I'm just going to set a couple properties so line data set, set to uh, draw circles, set that to false. Um, so if, if you don't set this to false, uh, you're the, the graph will have a whole bunch of dots all over it and it won't look like a nice smooth curve or it will be smooth and it will be smooth but the each one of these data points that are marked by these X's will be a really big circle so it makes your graph look pretty stupid um, so if you if you set this to false then it looks pretty good set color make this one blue Now we'll make the second data set. So line data set, line data set two, line data set uh, y. Make it the sign one. Call it sign. And then do the same thing. I'll just copy these. Line data set two, and we'll make it red. And we do line data sets. Now we add the data. Line data set one and line data sets dot add line data set two. Okay. 
Um, so, what's next? Line chart. Oops, let's set data. Explain that uh, stringer right thing here in a second. Okay, so when we uh, this is where we're setting our data sets um, to. So here's our line data sets that we added line data set one and, and data set two to um, to 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 create a instance of line data. This parameter right here, if you look at this, it's the first parameter has to be a string array. It can't be an array of string type. Um, so that's why I converted uh, this array list to um, a string array. Because that's the only parameter it'll take here. Okay, and then we're just going to set one more thing. Um, set visible x range maximum and set this to 65. So what this does, this sets the maximum, it sets the viewport basically. So the, I think the minimum default, the default minimum is zero, so that's fine. Um, but to make, I'll just uh, run the emulator. To give, give yourself a good viewport, you set this. And what it does is you take, since our, our data points are every 0.1x, if you want the viewport to be, say, from zero, to 2 pi because the period of sine and cos is 2 pi so if you want the viewport to be from 0 to 2 pi um, you have to take 2 pi oops, you have to take 2 pi and divide it by 0 0.1 and that equals I think it's a it's approximately 65 so that's why I put this in here because 2 pi is well like pi is 3.14 so 2 times pi is about 6.28 so I'll just I just put say it's 65 and that should be good so let's take a look at our, at our emulator and there you go so it gives you a f so the um, sine function starts here the red one starts at 0 goes up and that's 2 pi right there Oops. I don't even know what I just did. <laughs> um, that's not the right one. What is this one called? Line graph? There we go. Yeah, so it starts at zero um, and then get its period is two pi, so that's two pi right there. And so it gives you a nice U window. So yeah, I guess that's that's all. Um, if you want to add more data sets, obviously you just create like line data set three, line data set four, and so on, and you can add as much as you want to your graph. So that's all for this tutorial. If you like the video, like the video, uh, show your support and subscribe. Thanks for watching.